Hello everyone, you're tuning in to the 7th episode of the Anime District, and we have a lot of interesting news for you guys today. I'm your host, SV.TV, let's get started. The Hunter x Hunter manga will be on an indefinite hiatus. This year's 31st issue of Shuishi's Weekly Sona Jump magazine announced that Yoshiharu Tagashi's Hunter x Hunter manga is going on an indefinite hiatus. The magazine will announce a resumption date for the manga when it has been decided. The manga had resumed in April after a two-year hiatus since 2014's combined 37th and 38th issue of Weekly Shonen Jump in August of 2014. What was initially a two-week hiatus for the author's lower back pain it was extended until April 2016. Little Witch Academia is getting a full-fledged anime series. Studio Trigger announced at its panel at Anime Expo that Netflix has licensed the upcoming Little Witch Academia television anime series. The series will be a 30-minute television series with director Yo Yashinari returning. Attack on Titan second season finally has a premiere date. The staff of the Attack on Titan franchise revealed that the Shingeki Matsuri event at the anime's second season will premiere in spring of 2017, but not much more information was revealed. One Punch Man is coming to Toonami. Adult Swim announced at its Anime Expo panel that One Punch Man will debut on its Toonami block on July 16th. Viz Media announced the main English dub cast, which includes Max Middleman as Saitama, Zach Aguilar as Genos, Robbie Damon as Moomin Rider, and Eric Kamir as Speed of Sound Sonic. Crunchyroll is getting into the Blu-ray and DVD business. Crunchyroll co-founder and general manager Ken Gao announced at the Crunchyroll panel at Anime Expo that the company will start dubbing and releasing some of its anime series on Blu-ray disc and DVD. The titles Crunchyroll announced that it will release on both Blu-ray disc and DVD include Cabinary of the Iron Fortress, the new Berserk series, Twin Star Exorcist, Free, Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches, Big Order, Myriad Colors Phantom World, and Gintama. Netflix's live action Death Note film has released more cast members and a release year. Netflix announced that its live action Death Note film will premiere streaming in 2017. Netflix also unveiled some additional cast members as well as the character names for previously unannounced cast members. The cast of characters include Nat Wolf from The Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns as Light Turner, Keith Steinfeld from Short Term 12 and Straight Out of Compton as L. Margaret Qualley from The Leftovers as Mia Sutton, Paul Nakuchi from Star Wars The Clone Wars as Watery, and Shia Wiggum from Boardwalk Empire as James Turner. There will be another series based on Blue Exorcist. This year's 31st issue of Shuisha's weekly Shonen Jump magazine has announced that Kuitsu Kato's Blue Exorcist manga is getting a new television series. And like Attack on Titan's second season announcement, there's not much more information out than that. We've gotten to the point of the show where we talk about English release news. Sentai Filmworks has announced English dub plans for seven different anime titles. Sentai Filmworks announced at Anime Expo that it will offer English dubs for the following anime. Kushio and Tora, Gate, Food Wars, Shogeki no Soma, Himotara Umuru-chan, Ushio and Tora, Gate, Food Wars, Shokakura no Soma, Himotara Umuru-chan, Amagi Brilliant Park, Monster Monsume, and Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? But they have not yet announced the release dates for any of those titles. The first Digimon Adventure Tri film is getting an English language theatrical release in the United States. Film distribution company Eleven Arts and Toy Animation announced that they will release an English language version of Digimon Adventure Tri Chapter 1 Reunion in theaters in the United States. The companies will hold a one-night Phantom event screening in more than 300 U.S. theaters on September 15th, followed by a national theatrical release in major cities. God Eater is getting an English dub. Aniplex of America has announced at its Anime Expo panel that it will dub the God Eater television anime into English. Kyle Herbert as Lindo Amamiya, Crispin Freeman as Somo Shekso, and Michelle Ruff as Sakiya Tachibana. Funimation has licensed the remainder of D. Gray Man. Funimation Entertainment announced that it has licensed the second half of the original D. Gray Man television anime series, episodes number 52 through 103. The company will announce for release details at a later date. Funimation dubbed the first 51 episodes and released them on DVD in 2009 and 2010. Since our Filmworks is dubbing Trinity 7, the fall 2014 TV anime series is set to be released on Blu-ray and DVD on August 16th by Sentai Filmworks. Well, that's all the news that I have for you guys today, and it's time to reveal the poll results from last episode. Please make sure to vote in all of the new polls, which will be linked in the description below. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. This. Yoko Nakajima is your average and somewhat timid high school student. One day, a strange man named Keiki appears before her and proceeds to swear his allegiance to her. Before she could properly register what was happening, demon-like creatures attacked Yoko and her friends. And while trying to escape, they are pulled into a different world, a world unlike what she has ever known. 
Separated from Keiki, Yoko and her friends must do whatever they can to survive in this new world. While there's a whole lot more to the series than that, 